Welcome to Durango Cooks, the cooking show with local ingredients, local chefs, and local flavor. Durango Cooks is brought to you by Durango Coffee Company, Nature's Oasis, and Inside Durango TV. Hey everyone, we're here at the Nature's Oasis Deli. Reason being, we're entering our third season of Durango Cooks, and we are going to meet the great Chef Charles. He's back in the kitchen, getting ready for our great dish that we're gonna learn about today, so let's head on back. Nature's Oasis Deli offers a delicious selection of fresh made foods for everyone. Enjoy signature salads, or have a meal prepared specifically for your taste buds. All right, we're back in the Nature's Oasis Deli Kitchen with Chef Charles. You are a phenomenal chef. You've been around a long time, a lot of experience, years to develop your philosophy on cooking. What is your philosophy on cooking? Um, my philosophy on cooking is that the, the better food that you put into your body, the better energy that you'll be able to put out to the rest of the world. And what about local? You're a big part of the local movement. Absolutely. Nature's Oasis is a huge sponsor of local farms, and that's going to be part of what we're doing today. Sweet. Well, the big part of what we're doing today, I've told everyone, is a big secret. They're gonna be, you're going to be excited when you hear what the dishes we're preparing today. It's going to be cranberry almond quinoa salad, which is one of our best sellers. Let's get started. Show us how to make it. Sounds good. All right, so how do we prepare a quinoa salad? Well, the first thing that you really need to do is rinse it. Um, the quinoa has a, a saponin coating on it, which is very bitter. If you don't rinse it off, it will taste very bad. Quinoa is a grain that comes from the Andes. It's about 5,000 years old, and the only other places that it's grown are the San Luis Valley of Colorado and one other farm in Canada. That's incredible. So we have it here in Colorado. We do, and uh, Nature's is working on getting it exclusively for our case. That's so, awesome. Yes. Work it, Charles. I'm working And it. <laughs> it's a great protein grain. It's about 20% protein. It's very high in amino acids. Um, the United Nations Food Program wishes that they could send it to all of the third world countries that That'd are be out incredible. there. That'd be incredible. So great. how do we prepare it? Uh, first thing you do is rinse it, which we've already done. I like to toast it just to bring out some of that nutty flavor. It does have a little bit of water on it, okay. but that'll bake off as we toast it. It cooks mm -hmm. up to about three times size. Okay. I have my oven set at about 400 degrees. So we'll toast it for about five to seven minutes just until it gets nutty brown. Okay. So while the quinoa is browning, you can start prepping your other goodies, Absolutely. though you may need more time if you're not a professional. <laughs> so you're going to get your cutting board, which by the way, we have this great cutting board from Durango Coffee Company. You can pick up this Epicurean sustainable cutting board from Durango Coffee Company. It's also dishwasher safe. And if you go into Durango Coffee Company and mention you saw it on Durango Cooks, you'll get 10% off. Can't beat that. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and chop up the um, celery and the onion. We're going to use this beautiful Kun Recon knife from Durango Coffee Love Company. Love the colors. They also sell Wustoff and Hankel and other Top variant, line knives. Top line knives. Right. Beautiful knives. You're basically just looking to get a nice little even brownage on there. This will bring out all of the sugars and the caramelization and make it taste nice and nutty. Throw it into the... Uh, pot that you're going to boil it in. So we're going to use a little bit of a zesty onion olive oil from the new Durango Olive Oil Company to coat the grains. You're going to mix it up with a spoon in order to coat all of the grains and keep them separated. This is two cups of quinoa, so here's four cups of water. Bring it to a boil, cap it off, and as soon as the water's gone, it's cooked. So while it's boiling, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to assemble. Sounds great. We'll be right back. 